hi friends welcome to another video in this particular video we are going to design a beam for shear um, because in most cases the beams are subjected to shear force and sometimes we do not uh, provide reinforcement into the beams and the whole load has to be resisted by concrete itself uh, we know that concrete is very very weak in uh, resisting shear but of course when we increase the depth of the beam or any structural component then obviously it can resist the shear force um, so in this particular example we are going to design a beam in which a beam has to resist the shear load um, so let's take this example we have to design a rectangular beam uh, which has to carry the shear force of 120 kilonewton um, so in this particular beam we do not have to provide the web reinforcement the whole shear force has to be resisted with concrete concrete itself uh, and the compressive strength 28 days compressive strength of concrete is given that is 22 megapascal and uh, we have to assume um, the depth of the beam that is uh, two times uh, of its width um, so we have to design the actually uh, its dimensions we have to design the cross section of a beam that could resist this particular uh, force of 120 kilonewton that is actually shear force um, so let's get into this we have we can actually calculate the basic cross-section of this particular beam by using this formula um, so uh, if we look at this formula the shear force the applied shear force uh, or the shear capacity uh, should be less than 0 0.08 phi uh, lambda uh, square root of FC dash that is the 28 days compressive strength BW is the width of the beam and D is the depth of the beam um, so let me de describe these uh, factors uh, phi is the strength reduction factor phi is also a factor uh, fc dash is the 28 days compressive strength bw is this particular width of this beam that is called bw uh, that has to be calculated and D is the depth of this beam so we have to design the cross-section that could resist the uh, shear force of 120 kilonewton um, so we can actually uh, design the cross-section just by uh, uh, by dividing this factor uh, to the left side um, so by dividing this factor to the left side we can get that V u by 0.08 phi lambda square root of fc dash uh, now by putting all the values we can actually get the cross section of this particular beam that could resist the shear force of 120 kilonewton um, so the shear force that was actually given that is 120 kilonewton uh, we have to just use uh, its value 120 and uh, by multiplying it with thousand because we have to we have to convert uh, kilonewton into newton uh, uh, 120 multiplied by 1000 divided by 0 0.08 uh, phi is the strength reduction factor so in case of shear we have to use the factor of 0 .0, uh, 0 0.75 uh, lambda is 1 and square root of fc dash fc dash is the 22 that is the 28 days compressive strength of concrete um, so after solving all this data we can get um, the cross section the cross section of the beam that is uh, 410989 mm square so this is the required cross section of the beam of rectangular beam that can actually resist the shear force of 120 kilonewton um, so as we assume that the depth of the beam is uh, actually two times of its width um, so we can calculate its width and depth as well um, so we can calculate the depth that comes as 906 uh, mm and also we have calculated its width that is uh, 453 mm um, so these are the dimensions of the rectangular beam that can resist the load of 120 kilonewton so I have also drawn uh, its cross section 
section here as you can see um, this is the required cross section having the width 453 millimeter and the depth 906 millimeter so this is the required cross section of the beam that could resist this um, shear force of 120 kilo Newton um, so guys this was a very short example in which I wanted to let you know that how you can calculate the cross section for a shear uh, strength um, similarly uh, you can also calculate the shear strength uh, of any particular beam having the cross section if the dimensions are given and it's a 28 days compressive strength is also given so you can also calculate the shear um, shear strength of that particular beam and you can compare that shear strength of that beam with the applied loading so you must remember that applied loading or applied uh, you can say applied force should be less than the strength of that particular beam that's how the design can be satisfied um, so if you have liked this video or learned something from this video then uh, I request you to please subscribe our channel civil engineering world so you would not uh, miss any video because we make videos every single day on different topics um, so see you later and take care